Gentlemen, if no one's told you, you got to tell yourself, you are special. You are important. You are the man. See, when I talk about things like confident, intelligent, and assertive, CIA, when I talk about frames, fragrance, footwear, when I talk about any of the things, the catchwords I use, I use them for a very specific reason, because you matter. And you need to carry yourself as such. Many guys, if you're honest with yourself, you had to actually learn how to be treated well. You came from some of these chaotic, dysfunctional kind of environments where arguing, screaming, fussing, and fighting was the order of the day. When somebody was actually nice to you for the first time, in particular a lady friend, it probably kind of threw you off. There are plenty of videos on the internet showing guys who are used to being yelled at or hollered at by their girlfriend, wife, or significant other. It takes some getting over, getting used to being treated better. So how do you start getting treated well by other. Yeah, Kevin, it's, easy, it's common sense or it's easier said than done. How did you get there? Well, the first thing is I started to treat myself well. At every level I was at, I did not wait. I did not necessarily wait to treat myself well. Yeah, even when you're making minimum wage, get an extra topping on your pizza, get extra cheese. The little things, guys, matter so much. That's why I talk about the three Fs, frames, fragrance, and footwear. I just grabbed these two right here. Roja Dove Elysium costs more than the average fragrance, but when you wear it, you'll know where your money went. And this one right here, Molecule 01, probably my favorite fragrance on the planet. But when I wear it, I feel incredible. This is me treating myself well. This is me treating myself like I matter, wearing this, wearing that. It comes to the frame game, putting a little bit more money into the quality of my frames. You don't necessarily know it, but I know it when I wear them, how they feel on my face, how they hug, just the, the contouring. You can tell the difference when you're wearing a nice pair of shoes, how they feel. A good pair of shoes changes you. It changes everything about you. It changes the way you walk, the way you glide across the room. It changes your strut, your stride, your stance, your gait, your masculine frame. So guys, you gotta treat yourself better in everything. That's why I say fit is more important than fashion and quality is more important than quantity. Talked about the frames, we talked about the fragrance, and let's talk about the footwear. Even something as simple as this, guys. This one pair of boots is money. They're definitely highly complimented and they start lots of conversations. I take care of them and they take care of me. I would say this, what people have told me they send these shoes, any guy that's wearing those, I wanna get to know. Treat yourself like you matter and the world will do the same. I would rather you have less of something and have good something, a lot of average, and do that in your personal life too. Stop allowing people into your personal life that don't meet up to your minimum expectation. Like I said, women should be FBI, feminine, beautiful, and inspirational. Now, maybe you work for somebody else and you cannot control who you interact with at work, but in your personal life, oh yes, you can. You most definitely can decide to not have any women, anybody in your life that does not treat you with respect, cooperation, and that feminine, beautiful, inspirational kind of thing. You can make those decisions. And the thing is, when you carry yourself a certain way, when you treat yourself in a certain way, you will actually give yourself permission to demand the best from others. That's the key. You gotta carry yourself that way. Give yourself permission to demand that people treat you with respect, address you with respect. Let nothing slide. Uh-uh. When someone wants to insult you, when someone wants to do a sneak diss or something like, uh-uh, uh-uh, call it out, call it right on the mat. Nope, your name is so-and-so, don't let them, don't let them, your name is Daryl or Darren, don't let them call you D, say my name is Darren, my name is Daryl. Or other than that, call me Mr. Tibbs. Do not address me informally. Have a standard that you have for yourself. And here's the thing, the, the people that you'll tick off or something like that, the ones that'll say you're uppity, you're full of yourself, you're arrogant, you're ambitious, you didn't need them around you anyway. You need them out of your world. So they did you a favor by getting away from you. By raising your standard, you're gonna actually lose a lot of dead weight. Uh -huh. but here's another thing, you'll actually start attracting people like you. Like attracts like. You want to be treated better by your colleagues, by women? Raise your standard. Treat yourself well and demand the same thing. But here's the other side. 
You also have to treat others with mirrored respect. But the golden rule still applies. You still need to treat other people the same way. Anytime I meet somebody, I go into an interaction with good faith. Assuming that you're going to do the right thing, you get an opportunity to show me different. And as long as you treat me the way I expect to be treated, I will treat you the same way and we will enjoy being around one another. But at the end of the day, it's the outcome that matters. If you want to be treated better, treat yourself like you matter first.